religious music. Well, first religious song that I wrote was 1970. What do you believe? Of course, that got banned on the radio. I did not make another attempt until 1973. And uh, the group wasn't interested. Uh, 73 and 78, I, I wrote other religious songs, probably about you know, 10 or 15 of them, until I did Promised Land in 78, and uh, wrote a 12 song, 14 song uh, opera called uh, Creation, which I'm still working on. And so I would say I've got probably about, you know, maybe 20, 30 religious songs out there. I'm constantly writing whatever I want to, what I do, you know. I do do the Lord's work too, as far as writing music. I created uh, Rock Stop uh, as a radio program in 1999. I must have interviewed probably about eight people. We were waiting for funding, but I you know, had the, the CDs, and I will probably download them later. Uh, among the best were Chris Hillman, Bob Welch, and the Yardbirds. Chris Hillman was a very interesting subject. Uh, we talked for about two hours and talked about the birds and the Burrito Brothers. and some of his solo work, and he was very, very kind. I still have his phone number. I've called him a couple times. As was Bob Welch. Uh, got a little more friendly with him. We became real good friends. Uh, interviewed the Yardbirds. Uh, the drummer and the rhythm player were the original. Went in with the assumption that I would have 15 minutes with him and spent two hours with him. And I have talked to them over the years. And uh, I wouldn't say they're friends for life, but, uh, you know, they gave me a lot of history about the band. And it was fun. It was very disappointing that I never got any, any of the stuff on the air. Some of the interviews didn't always go well. Like the one I had with uh, Roger McGuinn didn't go well. And if Crosby, I could never, you know, get to uh, interview. He just wouldn't do it. The creator, the guy behind Subway Brown was fun. And I uh, got to interview the Searchers through a friend of mine. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Like I say, it's a shame that it we never got the radio station off the ground or the program. But, yeah, one never knows.